Hey folks, this is Gazwan Kari over at SharePointQuester.com. Today we'll be reporting against site collection properties, specifically speaking storage and quota, to see what sites are being used. Uh, to do so, we're going to run a very simple script. This is the script, so it's going to be a short task and process. I'm going to grab the script, and the script can be found on the blog post itself. We're going to launch Management Shell. We're going to run as administrator and I'm gonna paste the script in here you're gonna notice this generated uh, as kind of a, a grid for us that shows us the site collections the storage they consume and the quota and all of them have zero quota assigned to them uh, if I wanna generate this in a, into a grid I need to grab the out grid view and give it a title but I wanna show you what happens by default when I input this information in here you will get an error saying that the Windows PowerShell integrated script environment feature needs to be installed and to do so we are gonna type in the following two lines we're gonna import module server manager and then we are going to add actually let me put it here we're gonna add Windows feature power shell integrated environment and then we're gonna run this you're gonna notice that it's starting the installation of uh, this uh, integrated scripting environment and then when once this completes if you reattempt that script you're gonna get an error you need to actually exit out from management shell and come back in again and run that script so it's success it works now so let's restart management shell and we are gonna grab now the entire script with the out grid view command and we're gonna paste this information in here and you're gonna notice in just a second that now the information is available to us uh, through a grid as well so this is a quick easy way for us to get information about site collection properties again in specific uh, storage as well as CUDA of, a spe of a specific of all the site collections that we have. This concludes this video thanks for tuning in and until next time